New England's in a remarkable position historically because there are more forests today in the landscape than at any other time for the last 200 years. The forests have come back from a history of deforestation for agriculture and very intensive logging for a variety of wood resources. And since the mid-19th century, the landscape all across New England and much of the eastern U.S. has reforested as old agricultural land has been abandoned and forests have naturally reclaimed pastures and fields. 400 years ago in New England, towering old-growth forests greeted immigrants from across the sea. Beginning with European settlement in the 17th century, ancient forests of conifers and hardwoods were felled to make way for homes and fields. By the mid-1800s, very little forest remained. The New England landscape had been transformed into a network of growing towns and stone-walled fields and pastures. Moose, turkey, beaver, wolves, and other forest wildlife disappeared. The new open landscapes created habitat for different species. As America's population grew, moved westward, and became more industrialized, New England's family farms were abandoned. The land was slowly reclaimed by a succession of forest communities. Light-loving white pines quickly colonized old fields and grew into large stands that were felled for valuable timber. As the pines were cut, shade-tolerant hardwood saplings took their place. Throughout the 20th century, forests gradually increased in area across New England, this in spite of some devastating natural disasters. Introduced pathogens such as chestnut blight and Dutch elm disease nearly eliminated several important forest trees. In 1938, an extraordinarily powerful hurricane ripped through New England's recovering forests, decimating them. 100-mile-per-hour winds toppled 70% of the standing timber in the Harvard Forest in Petersham, Massachusetts. New England's landscape history is a story of transformation and a dramatic testament to the resilience of its forests. Today, our forests are growing and thriving, but they must cope with a host of new threats, from global climate change to invasive species and new, more persistent, man-made landscapes. New England's forests have proven themselves extraordinarily resilient, but they are not infinitely so. Their future health and survival will depend on the choices we make today to manage and protect them.